going on everybody shadow trucker it is sunday may 15th and it's 1630 and i am parked by my house and we have the little man today so everybody can see him <laughs> um we're going to cover a video on what size tvs we can fit in these trucks uh, the older ones were a little smaller for the size we can fit a little bigger ones now you don't go mommy you don't go mommy so we're gonna go see if we can do this okay so originally we had a little 24 inch tv in here and we upgraded to the 32 inch behind it so the 24 inches fit perfectly in this little square right here the top square and that's actually kind of where this mount that's behind it uh, it folds over here and collapses against the wall and the 24 inch fits perfectly the edge lines up with this It's maybe like an inch off of it The 32 inch has to sit off over here Otherwise it sits on top of that wall and can't sit flush and the mountain won't lock into place um, You can't lift your bed with it here, but you can pivot the whole TV over here and tilt it like this and then down and It'll allow you to lift your bed up all the way still <clears throat> the surge protector that it's hooked into right now is gonna end up getting mounted on the wall. All the cables are gonna get ran behind the microwave and then just down far enough to plug into um, the surge protector. Where right now we have the TV and the sound bar plugged into it. And then we're gonna take this cord, run it from you know right under it, straight down, feed it under the bunk, and then we're gonna run the red extension under the bunk behind the uh, storage cabinets underneath the bunk feed it behind it and plug it in to the inverter where it normally is plugged in at. And then the sound bar, which is mounted up on the upper bed's little shelf that it lays on when it's down, and we just put Velcro on it so it's not going to come up or off. Uh, it sticks pretty dang well right there. And then if you need to let your top bunk down, you can pull it off the Velcro and it will sit there. But we did have to take the bed's support that it sits on when it's down the rubber bushing we had to pull that out so that the sound bar would sit flush up there but i mean you don't need it if you don't use your upper bunk so that's that uh go ahead feel free to ask questions and get back to you guys or you can send the emails to shadow trucker 210 at gmail.com which some of you guys are still doing um and if i get a bunch of questions again i'll write them all down and we'll do an answering questions part three and little man's eating right now so he can't say goodbye but we'll put him in some more videos so you guys can see him again. You guys stay safe. Take care.